when it comes to practicing with YouTube videos, I want to practice with Kennedy. There are more than 300 lines, a lot of characters, there are a lot of events. And it turns out it's my mother. Turns out it's my mother. It is absolutely gorgeous. Right? If someone gets on it, I underline, we speak in a very simple and basic way, okay? It's so exhausting though. Those YouTubers were my best English teachers. I, I try to speak the way they speak. Good morning, guys. Today, I don't want to study English. I don't feel like studying English, okay? I'm not in a good mood, I feel emotional, and I feel a little bit tired and sick. This is one of the days where I want to lay in bed and do nothing. I don't want to practice English, I don't want to study English, okay? I feel like even just one little tiny setback, you know, might lead me to a breakdown. But still, I need to practice. I talked about mood swings, so you know that I have a method. If I don't feel like studying, I go with YouTube videos. Now, I practice with YouTube videos. When it comes to practicing with YouTube videos, I am my motivational YouTubers, I am my comfort YouTubers, I am my inspirational YouTubers, I am my educational YouTubers, because I always categorize YouTubers. Now today, I'm. this is one of the days I want to practice with Kennedy, because, you know, Kennedy is kind of like my comfort YouTuber. So, my intention, my goal is to take it easy today. I'm going to take it easy, take it very slow. I just want to feel peaceful. I don't want to feel like I am practicing, I am learning English today. I just need to be stay in the mood. I don't want to fall out of my habits. And in this video, I am planning on sharing the advantages and disadvantages of learning English with YouTube videos and TV shows. So we'll see how this day is gonna entail, okay? I'm gonna have my breakfast while watching Kennedy and after having my breakfast, I'm gonna start to practice with Kennedy. I've been trying to keep fresh flowers because it makes everything Look nicer and, and I don't have anyone to hang out with. My friends are at college. I don't have anyone to hang out with. My friends are out of college. My family doesn't care about me. I don't have anyone to hang out with. My friends are out of college. My family doesn't care about me. And my family doesn't care about me. I'm kidding. The most important advantage of learning English with YouTube videos. When you learn English with YouTube videos, 90% of the lines, almost every single line, every single sentence that they are saying are applicable to your life. What does that mean? That means you can directly use their sentences in your life. There are more than 300 lines in this uh, one video and probably you can use almost every single one of those lines in your daily life. You can say every single thing that Kennedy says in this video your life. So what I'm thinking today is I need to go grocery shopping. There's things I need to do. I need to go grocery shopping. There are things that I need to do. I need to go grocery shopping. There are things that I need to do. Dude, you, you're gonna use this line every single day in your life. You're gonna use this line even today. Probably you're gonna go outside and there are things that you need to do. Maybe you're gonna go to market and you're gonna go to grocery and you're gonna sh be shopping. I ate lunch. I sat on my balcony for like 30 minutes. I ate lunch. I sat on my balcony. You can use that. I ate lunch. I sat on my balcony. Every single each one of those lines are applicable to your life. And that is the most important advantage of learning English with YouTube videos. You may ask ourselves, what is the this advantage of learning English with YouTube videos? Now, when you practice with YouTube videos, you can improve your vocabulary as fast as you improve with TV shows. The thing is, when you learn English with TV shows, there is a higher chance that you will never forget the words that you learn with TV shows. The reason is because there is a strong story. Like, every single scene is a story. Like, you know, there are a lot of characters, there are a lot of events, series of events. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. Gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. I know the meaning of gorgeous from France because I remember the specific situation where Rachel says gorgeous. And I was looking at this gravy boat. This really gorgeous Limoges gravy boat. 
Why do I remember the gorgeous? I remember gorgeous because of Rachel's gesture. Like I remember this exact scene. She's in this wedding dress. She's wet and she talks about her story. You can easily remember words when you learn English with TV shows because there's always a strong story. When you learn English with TV shows, there's so much action going on. There's always different, different stories, okay? Uh, that cracks you up sometimes, that make you emotional, that make you laugh and so much things going on. Okay, now let's play a little game. Now I'm gonna prove to you the importance of learning English with TV shows and how I learned and improved my vocabulary. So when Kennedy speaks, I'm gonna stop the video and tell you where I remember some of the words from, okay guys? I, I'm definitely not bored today, that's for sure. I've been doing stuff, so I guess that's good. It's so exhausting though. Everyone, Everyone keep your distance. Social distance from my- Where's exhausting? I remember it from how I entered my there. I'm exhausted. Going, going. What are you doing, buddy? Like, you want to get ran over? Ran over. I remember from friends. Maybe tomorrow we can rent a car, run over some puppies. Just trying to return a pair of jeans. Return. I remember it from the crown. I've returned to London. Tell me, doing these things is a big deal by myself. Big deal, I remember from France. Would you let it go? It's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal, it's amazing. And I'm driving myself. Just the worst possible scenarios play out in my brain. The story play out in its own time. A pair of pants to Urban Outfitters because I ordered a pair of jeans and it turns out I already had that exact pair of jeans. It turns out I remember from Chandler and it turns out it's my mother. Which is very, very weird because she never calls me. And it turns out it's my mother. <laughs> Which is very, very weird because she never calls me. If you don't have a superpower, you can expect to be motivated, ambitious, passionate about something all the time. You are gonna have your bad days, you're gonna have your good days, and that goes for everyone. For a few weeks, you might be so passionate, you might be so ambitious, you might be so motivated, and then a few weeks later, you might feel so down. You might not feel as motivated as you always been. And that's okay, okay? Because that's life. So what we try to do, we try to adapt to every single situation. For instance, today, I didn't even want to film this video, honestly. If I didn't practice with this video today, I would have probably skipped this day. Once you start to skip a day, you, you teach your brain that you can skip a day. And once you know it, you're gonna start to make excuses to skip more and more days when you don't feel as motivated as you always been. And then slowly but surely, you're gonna start to fall out of your habits. I try not to fall out of my habits as much as I can, okay? Okay, it is absolutely gorgeous outside and... It is absolutely gorgeous outside. I am on a walk right now. I will take like 30 minutes walk. And also, I don't want to get run over by a car right now, or motorcycle. What are you doing, buddy? Like, you want to get ran over? So, this is why I always talk about the importance of, you know, not skipping a day and making everything part of your life, like make it a habit of your life. A current habit is very important. You know, it's so easy to fall out of your habits when you skip a day. Once you have a habit, once you have a daily routine, you don't even need to think about what you're gonna do on a daily basis, you know? When I get home, I'm gonna start talking about how to speak without making grammar mistakes and how to improve your grammar knowledge uh, with YouTube videos, okay? As you can see, I am home safe. As you can see, I am home safe. Now, I wanna talk about grammar. If you struggle with speaking right now, there's a chance that you always struggle with grammar because when you speak, you most of the time make a lot of mistakes and that includes grammar mistakes. I wanna talk about how I reduce my grammar mistakes because I still make grammar mistakes from time to time. Now, okay, for instance, there's a scene here, there is this part here 
Mary Kennedy says, I'm not gonna walk into a room of people who are throwing up today. You know, I'm not gonna walk into a room of people who are throwing up today. I'm not gonna walk into a room of people who are throwing up today. People, people scare me. When I walk into an elevator, then it stops for someone. When I walk into an elevator and then it stops for someone and someone else gets on. When I walk into an elevator, then it stops for someone. Walk into. Walk into a room, walk into an elevator, and then someone gets on it. Someone gets on it. Not gets at it, but someone gets on it. Now, as you can see, Kennedy says, walk into a room, walk into an elevator. All I do is, I just, you know, underline the into and just repeat the line like when I walk into an elevator and that's it I'm like okay if Canada says I walk into an elevator then I will go with I walk into an elevator because she's a native speaker and she's I'll say whatever she says okay if it's a mistake she's a native speaker so that's okay you know and that's it okay that's what I do I copy the way native speakers speak when I copy them I copy the grammar rules the more you repeat them the more you start to pick up the right grammar structure right expressions and the more you start to make sentences the way native speakers make I'm gonna have my dinner but before I eat my dinner I want to say one more thing I want to talk about one more important topic don't underestimate the power of simple and basic speech. What I mean by that is, when I was in university, I used to come across people, you know, friends saying that we know English, our English is good. Our speaking skill is not that good, but we know English. They always used to say that. Now, they were right because they were able to understand everything they read. They were able to listen to many things with English subtitles. But when it comes to speaking, they were struggling. They weren't at that point where they would be able to make YouTube videos, for instance, even, uh, you know, lock their life, okay? Biggest mistake that we all do, especially people who want to learn English do, is they underestimate the power of basic and uh, simple speech. What I mean by that is, for instance, in that video, Kennedy says, I might get into a car accident or there is things that I need to do, I need to go shopping, or I need to return a pair of jeans to Urban Outfitters, I walk into an elevator, and you might be like, dude, these are so basic, you like, you know, like, I walk into an elevator, like, there is things that, there is things I need to do, I need to go shopping, these are very basic lines, like, uh, you know, everybody knows what those lines mean, and everybody, everybody can say that, but the problem is, when it comes to speaking, even those basic lines don't come out of your mouth in a natural way sometimes. Like, you know, you want to say, I woke up at 9 a.m. today and there are things that I need to do. I had my breakfast. I'm going to go shopping. You know, I have a lot going on today. We have a very busy day ahead of us. You know, those basic things, those things don't come out of your mouth naturally. So you don't, you don't need a massive vocabulary. You don't need a massive advanced vocabulary. In our daily life, when it comes to speaking, we speak in a very simple and basic way, okay? This is where YouTube videos, vloggers come into play. They help you to improve your daily speech, you know? So always set this goal to yourself. You don't need to be a YouTuber, but imagine that you're going to walk your life, a day in the life. You don't need to share this video. But imagine that you're going to walk yourself and ask yourself this question. Am I able to talk about different aspects of my life in a very natural way, like Kennedy does? That's the point, guys. I have almost watched all six seasons of iCarly. So far, I watched the three seasons of Better Call Saul and I only have three seasons left. And I, after finishing Better Call Saul, I'm going to start to watch the last season of Succession. I am so excited for that and I'm looking forward to that. Now I'm gonna have my dinner and I'll see you guys with shadowing. It's so exhausting though. Hopefully I actually go through with this video. Okay, I'm exhausted guys, but still I am happy that I went through with this video. I filmed the entire day, me, you know, studying with Kennedy. You can always be in a good mood, okay? You can always feel motivated or passionate. As a human being, we have bad, we have our bad days, we have our good days. And today was a not good day for me because I didn't feel good, I didn't feel happy. But still, I knew that I needed to practice English.
And I, in order to practice English, I go with Kennedy. I, my purpose was to not learn something new. My purpose was to follow my habits, you know, not to fall out of my habits, not to fall out of my daily routine. Isn't it so great? Like how we can learn English with just YouTubers. I never learned English with the English educational content on YouTube. Like I never learned English with English teachers. I always hated learning English with English teachers. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against English teachers, but I have a tra trauma from my childhood, okay? I can't emphasize enough how much, how badly I hated English, guys. I literally hated English, okay? When I learned English with friends, with House of Cards, with the TV shows and movies that I like, with the YouTubers that I like, I don't feel like learning English. My best English teacher was Kennedy, basically, you know? I watched her content, I consumed her content, I learned English. My best, uh, you know, English teacher was Case Neistat or Nadia Lillian or, you know, this, uh, those YouTubers were my best English teachers. I consumed their content, I practiced their speech, I, I tried to speak the way they speak. And also, I learned English with TV shows. So this is why I didn't call my channel's name Learn English with Arsene, even though I make videos about learning English. Last minute, my sister flew me home down to my hometown where she was staying. Last minute, my sister flew me down to my hometown that she was staying. My mom came down and we had a birthday celebration. It was really great. My mom came down and we had a birthday celebration and it was really great, so... <laughs> And I also got a parking ticket. Parking ticket. <laughs> and I also got a parking ticket. And I also got a parking ticket.